Hey guys, so welcome back to the next tutorial in this little series um, about a responsive navbar. Um, in the last video we got a um, a navbar working but it only works on desktop, um, on mobile. This list of um, uh, list of links drops down on the next line and it's not very pretty. Um, so what we want to happen is when you scroll down to about here, um, these links will disappear and a, um, a hamburger icon will uh, swap in for it. Um, I've got a quick design for that. So this is the desktop version which we've already built and this is the mobile version so we've got a the logo up there, the menu items have disappeared and then we've got a hamburger menu um, and when we click on that hamburger menu we want to see this overlay so we'll get around to that next. So first of all we want to hide those menu items so it's really really simple all we need to do is just open up our project Doo -doo -doo. there we go open up our project um, and there we go so there's our index and our CSS I've already saved out the um, the close icon which you can see there and the uh, hamburger icon so they'll be available in the um, in the description so here we go so a good um, breakpoint that most people go for is uh, 768 so we'll uh, we'll use that one um, so I'll explain all this in a minute so max width 768 pixels so what this means is this is a media query so this means that um, it will query a size on the page and if, if the page is a certain width then this media query will take shape. Um, so we're affecting all devices, all um, tablets, mobiles, desktop, everything. Um, so that's just to make sure that we, we're utilizing all of those um, devices. And then it says and the max width is 768 so anything under that then what we're going to write in here is going to take shape. So we can copy this because we're going to use that same tag and all we want to say is get rid of that and just say display none so that means after 768 pixels the header ul will disappear so if we get back to our build and just refresh if I scroll down the page now after 768 you can see there it's disappeared um, and then if you scroll back out so above 768 it comes back so media queries are really good because they, they just make responsive design so much easier um, and you're able to do so much with it. So next then, what we want is for the hamburger icon to appear where the menu was. So all we need to do is add the hamburger menu after the uh, list. So that's just an image. So we'll give it a class of hamburger um, and the source for that image. It's just up here, it's called hamburger icon.png. So all of these files will be in your uh, in the source file you can download in the description. So if I refresh that now, you can see that hamburger icon's popped in there, but obviously it's in the wrong place. Um, it shouldn't be showing now because that list's there and it's quite big, so we've got to deal with that. So first of all, we'll have another media query, but we'll do it, <coughs> excuse me, We'll just do it under here. Um, it doesn't really matter where you do it. But instead of this header UL, we want to say header image dot hamburger. And we want to copy that out. And there we go. So when it's not less than 768, so when it's above 768, the, uh, the hamburger image will display none, which is perfect because we don't want it to be there. But when it's less than 768, the hamburger icon will display block so it'll show up. So if we refresh that there, the hamburger icons disappeared and when you scroll down they swap in and there you go. So the last thing we need to do is just to make that the right size which it's easier to do it in the developer tools so all you need to do is open up more tools and developer tools and you can see this sidebar so you just click on the image 
and we'll give it a max width of 30 pixels um, and that's about right and then we'll give it a margin top of say 30 pixels as well um, that's perfect and you can see it's causing some problems here that's because um, we still need to float it over to the right if you remember this UL you can see here it's floated to the right so we need to do the same thing with the image so float that to the right and there you go it's perfect um, you can scrunch it in smaller and then you can see if it's in line um, it near enough is maybe knock a few pixels off there um, there we go so 28 is perfect so now we can just copy that over um, or you can write it in so it doesn't take too long so up here we want to give it a max width 30 pixels a margin top 28 pixels and a float right so then if we refresh there you go there's your icon and when we go bigger the menu comes back and the icon disappears there you go so perfect now the last thing in this video is we're going to create this overlay um, for the menu we're not going to worry about the functionality yet we're just going to get the overlay working so all we need to do is go back to your index page um, create a div above the header um, and we're going to call that overlay um, and then we're going to start coding so we want to copy um, this menu so that's all we need in there and then we can copy this image tag and just replace that icon with the close icon so there you go if we refresh that now it, it will work but it won't be styled up so it looks wrong but that's fine um, one last thing just like in the uh, the header we need to add a container so that it's um, all got nice padding around everywhere so div class container and there you go everything's in this container now so it's got a bit of padding so we'll start off by um, styling up the close icon so literally we're just going to copy this well just this bit actually and um, copy that and we'll do it right at the bottom so we need to say div.overlay and then close so div.overlay image.close and pop that in there so we can get rid of that get rid of that so we want it to float right and be exactly the same as the hamburger icon so there you go um, we can change this to block because we want it to show all the time technically but the, uh, the actual overlay won't be showing so um, you know it will be there but it will be hidden so if you get me so let's do the overlay so we're going to give that a background colour of like a, a, a black but with a 70% opacity so you just do RGBA and then black is four zeros but because we want an opacity we're going to give it 0.7 at the end so if I just refresh that there you go you can see that's worked um, that icon hasn't changed because we haven't given it the class um, so up here we need to change the class to close and if we check now that's changed over there now so that's perfect so we need this overlay to be um, over the whole page and um, over everything else so all we need to do is in here we need to give it a position of absolute uh, position absolute means it's absolutely at the top it's ahead of everything um, and nothing gets in its way so then we need to give it a width of 100% and a height of 100% and if we refresh now there you go it's over the top of everything and nothing's in the way which is ideal so you can see now that logo is not quite in uh, the icon sorry is not quite in line but we can fix that in a minute next thing then is these this text so we can copy most of this so if we just do it under here so we need to change that to div.overlay and then it's still a ul it's still a ui a li sorry um, but they're not inline block anymore they're going to be block because we want them to stay on top of each other just like in our design they're just like that so they're display block now um, all of these a tags are the same except we want the font size to be a bit bigger so if we change it up to 50 pixels, change that to div.overlay, 
And there we go, if we have a look now, there you go. The uh, last thing is the the actual UL itself, where we just need to remove some padding and stuff like that. So just padding is zero, oops, margin is zero, um, display is block, oops, width is 100%, and text align is center. So if we refresh now, there you go, you can see that's all worked. We're also going to add a bit of a margin at the top just to um, move these down so they're you know sort of halfway down your screen. So we'll just say 100 pixels at the top, and there you go. You see that's popped down now, that's not a problem, uh, we'll fix that now. So if you just pop into the development tools, um, we can see why that's doing that. So if we just inspect this, you know, it's floated to the right, and if we float our overlay to the left, nothing happens. <laughs> um, we'll just lose that margin for now. And what can we try? So if we had a padding, nope. Okay. Um, well, one way we can do it, um, we can change that to a position absolute element. So the um, close icon, we can get rid of, well, we can keep those two. But in fact, we can get rid of that one as well. So we'll change this then. So we'll say position absolute, which again means it's going to be on top of everything. We'll say right 30 pixels, top of 30 pixels. And that means it's going to be 30 pixels from the right and 30 pixels from the top. Um, when you change something's position, you need to specify those because they default go to zero. And if you refresh, there you go. So that's up there now. Maybe it's a little bit low, so we can change it to 26. And there you go. So we can see in here, if we uh, hide this, We've got our hamburger menu with our logo and then in the next video we're going to make it so we click on this hamburger and then this overlay appears and we've got a functional mobile menu. So thanks for watching and tune in to the next video.